हाय हेलो वेलकम टू द सेकंड सेशन ऑफ स्टडीज फॉर एनहेंसमेंट इन द फूड प्रोडक्शन एंड यू आर वाचिंग यू आर अनस्टॉपेबल ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑन आवर यूट्यूब चैनल सो कीप वाचिंग ऑल द वीडियोस रेगुलरली मेक द नोट्स स्टडी वेल ओके सो दैट इट विल बी वेरी इजियर फॉर योर अपकमिंग एग्जाम्स सो let us go to the last part of the dairy as we are discussing regarding the part of the dairy so yesterday we came across all the various different types of the breeds which are exclusive out of your ncert but if you know their names well it's better okay and this is the major part what we are going to discuss it today and this will be asked for a five mark level question it's a single question which will be asked for a five mark level question okay which is the most important which will be asked in the theoretical part okay and each of these points can be made into an objective question right so dairy regarding the dairy management dairy farm management is the most important part in the heading dairy okay so here dairy farm management how it has to be managed we have the characters here we have the points here so let's look at these points one by one the first one is the cattle have to be housed well that means there should be a proper construction area where the animals has to be housed well they have to be kept well how it will be done either it might be made up of a, a concrete floor then wall and a concrete rcc roof or even a shed can be also built it's a based on the necessity and requirement of the person who is maintaining a dairy farm now in the dairy farm we have two different types a small dairy farm and a large dairy farm small dairy farm it refers to around 5 to 10 cattle 5 to 10 cattle is a small dairy farm large dairy farm it consists of 100 cattle or even more than that also okay now why i am telling you regarding all these things is because this dairy farm management as you are studying it if you know these characters how the farm has to be maintained how the feed has to be done what are the feeds that has to be taken what are the stringent actions that has to be taken in the dairy farm management then you can implement in your day to day life as the economic source okay so how it will help for our economy so that part i will tell you so after all these points okay so here the cattle have to be housed well that means a proper house has to be done in such a way that they these animals will be having a proper place to stay for their feeding okay so even if uh, the house if it is made up of a shed also if it is made up of the sheets also it's good but there should be ventilation a proper ventilation is required it should not be completely closed with a single door or a single window so proper ventilation should be there understood so this is regarding it has to be housed well then next one should have adequate water that means that the animal we have to provide lot of adequate water clean water hygienic water for the animals okay why we have to provide all these things is so that they should be disease free they should not get any such type of disease okay so that's why should have adequate water plenty of water has to be supplied then maintain disease free okay that means we should check the animals whether they are getting disease like foot and mouth disease okay adakana va aadu bhasha olagade bai bani kal bani and karithirtar okay in the rural places so that's why here the animals has to be maintained disease free they should not get any sort of disease because in the dairy farm you are not maintaining a single animal okay suppose if i am maintaining a single cow or a buffalo i cannot tell to the public yes i have a dairy farm yes it's not a dairy farm it's a domestic animal where we are maintaining only for the production of the milk only for our family but this is the dairy farm management where we are going to maintain the animals produce the milk and the milk has to be supplied to the public because demand for the milk is also more every day our day starts with milk yes from morning tea till night meals 
so almost uh, we depend on milk as well as its products more in our day to day life we require it every day and uh, babies or infants they will be feeding on the milk products only or the milk yes so it is one of the most important component that is required for everyone in their daily life okay so that's why the animal has to be maintained disease free because if one animal gets disease there might be contamination by which other animals may also get disease okay so chance of spreading is more if it spreads then ultimately it affects our dairy farm then the feed of the cattle should be carried out in a scientific manner look at this in a scientific manner that means we should have the knowledge of the feed what type of feed has to be given whether grains has to be given whether green grass has to be given or whether the raw husk has to be given or dry husk has to be given so what type of feed now en adak aahar kodtivi because in input is equivalent to output okay and finally we are expecting the milk products okay so that's why it depends suppose if you want to increase the fat content then we have to give some of the oily seeds like sunflower right so soya uh, seeds so these seeds has to be used as feed so that's why it is a scientific method now baal jana en maadtivi antandra feed proper age hakangilla milk production kadime agutati ant now helta irtivi but it's a wrong reason because we don't have we are not maintaining them in a scientific way okay we are maintaining them in a crude way so scientific manner so how mainly the quality and quantity of the fodder that we are giving has to be maintained the quality should be there quantity should be there avu eshtu bekashtu kodbekla ardham ardha kottu antandra even the productivity also decreases okay our intention is to increase more because look at this enhancing enhancing means increasing where to increase the production of the milk in the animals in the cattle so quality first quality has to be maintained good quality should be there and quantity okay now when we rear domesticate animals when we domesticate uh, domesticate them then ultimately food as well as fodder has to be given by that same person now it is just like the human beings only okay so whenever you go for a hotel you will order something based on your interest you will take it you will see the quality also if quality is good your feeding ability will be also good if quality is not good your intake will be also less now giving only one type of food or fodder for these animals is not good because you won't get all the nutritional content nutritional value in the milk to get all these things a proteins vitamins ions minerals calcium then what you have to do you have to provide all the things in the form of the food so that you can enrich or increase the nutritional quantity in the milk so quality as well as a quantity how much it requires how much need is there it has to be given for them and uh, has to be maintained so this has to be maintained it is a proper scientific way of rearing the animals right now in a shed we rear them or in the open fields and the grounds we leave them for the feeding even in the open hills also we just take them out that is a different issue where uh, they won't get all the different types of food stuffs but if we are maintaining them in a uh, housed uh, manner then ultimately food and feed, uh, feed has to be given properly for this the next one most important thing most important thing double star mark for this why double star mark after all all these things if you do one negligence then all your efforts may spoil so that's why i am giving a double star mark for this stringent cleanliness stringent cleanliness meaning strict cleanliness of what of whom cleanliness and hygiene both of the cattle and the handlers both of the cattle means the cattle has to be kept hygiene how it has to be kept hygiene now whenever we construct a house for these cattle what type of floor we are making that is also important right the floor should not be soft the floor should not be smooth otherwise the animal will slip they will fall down 
ओके दैट्स वै वी डोंट पुट ग्रानेट टाइल इन द फार्म यार्डस सर नम मन ग्रानेट इल रही नौके ग्रानेट हाको ओके आ रीतियाल अरे अस्ट साफिसटिकेटेड इबू अथवा साफ्ट इवंत यद फ्लोर बेसबार् ओके दट इस थिंग फ्लोर शुड बी रफ् या भाष जन नोड़ी मणि वास्तुशांति मणि आकड़ा एलक बर्तिरतार अवेन बर्ती हेको बर्तार या बर्ती निम्ब फ्लोर नोड़ बर्ती ग्रानेट हाकि ना जर बीत वल्ती जगती हाँ यस दिस वाट हैपन सो अव नॉलेज नमगी रईट सो हौ दि विल कम टू नो आल दीज थिंग ओके सो प्रॉबली बेस्ड ऑन दियर एक्सपीरियंस दे वि हैविंग आल दीज थिंग रईट ओके सो फ्लोर शुड बी रफ् ग्रीपु देट शुड नाट बी स्ट्रेट स्वल्प स्लैंड बिकॉज द एनिमल विल बी यूरीनेटिंग द यूरी हाज टू गो एंड इट हाज टू बी कलेक्टेड समवेर एल इन द कॉर्नर सो दैट्स वै दिस इज वाट इज से टू बी हईजी पार्ट वेर द यूरी शुड नाट स्टे देर इट शुड मूव समवेर एल इन ए स्लोपी एरिया देन हईजी पार्ट द एनिमल हाज टू बी वाश्ड क्लीन मेन्टेन हईजी ओके वाशिंग भाला ना हलिगे नोड़ती किलो नदीबूद केनालबू अथवा हल के कर्क दन तोती दिल बी वाशिंग अंदर ऐनू इट इस अ पार्ट आफ् मेटेन आफ् द हईजी वै हईजी हाज टू बी मेन्टेन बिकॉज आफ्टर दैट वी हव् टू गो फॉर् द मिलचिंग प्रोसेस् सो मि हाज टू बी टेकन औट सो दैट्स वै इट हाज टू बी मेन्टेन क्लीन ओके द एनिमल हाज टू बी केप्ट हईजी इट हाज टू बी क्लीन इट हाज टू बी ग्रूमड ओके ग्रूम अंतर्रे श्रृंगारे गोलसोद ऐन श्रृंगार गोलसोद तले बच्चक पौडर हचक अदल ओके इट्स नाट लाइक दैट सो हियर ग्रूमिंग रिफर्स टू कीपिंग क्लीन इज नथिंग बट ग्रूमिंग ग्रूमिंग आफ द कैटल हाउस अंडरस्टूड सो ग्रूमिंग हाज टू बी डन हियर यूवन फॉर् द कैटल आलो रईट सो स्ट्रिंज क्लीन हईजी हाज टू बी मेन्टेन टू द कैटल आज वेल आज द हैंडलर्स हैंडलर्स द पर्सन हू विल मिलचिंग यार हाल करीतिरतार अंत व्यक्ति दे शुड वाश् दर् हैंड प्रॉपर्ली ओके सो मेन्टेन हईजी हईजी वे मेन्टेन बिकॉज इफ लाट आफ बैक्टीरिया विल एंटर इन टू द मिल द मिल गे मे गेट स्पॉल एंड दैट स्पॉलेज विलड टू लाट आफ लॉस फॉर् द डेरे फार्म मैनेजर्स ओके सो हियर फॉर् द कैटल ऐस वेल आज द हैंडलर्स दीज आर् आफ पारमौंट मोस्ट इंपारटेंट इट्स आफ मोस्ट इंपारटेंट ओके सो दैट्स वै Hygiene is one of the most important thing to keep even humans along with the animals disease free. Okay, next. So here, when it has to be done while milking. While milking, milking refers to taking out the milk from the udder of the cows or buffaloes. Then this stringent cleanliness has to be maintained while milking. storage of the milk and even transport of the milk as well as its products from one place to another place look at this till it is delivered to the customers or the people it has to be kept clean hygiene okay so storage has to be done then along with that visit by veterinary doctor this is most important suppose if you are maintaining one or two animals then no need to uh, visit by veterinary doctor regularly or regular checkup is not necessary because you are maintaining only two but suppose if you have either a small or a large so almost large dairy farm they will be having appointed veterinary doctors only because the animals if they get any sort of disease so ultimately with the help of the antibiotics and injections they will treat them and even these veterinary doctors will go for the moit techniques also multiple ovulation and embryo transfer that technique we are going to discuss it later okay so veterinary doctor has to visit mandatory to a dairy farm that means appointed veterinary doctors will be there right so with all these we can maintain the dairy farm so if you have this knowledge how the animal and the cattle has to be maintained how the food and feed has to be given how the stringent cleanliness has to be taken how the milk has to be stored and transported then ultimately you can manage a good dairy farm why this is because i will take an example of a small dairy management 
ओके अल टेक एन एक्सापल आफ ए स्म डेरी मैनेजमेंट निम्द सण डेरी ऐसे अंदको ओके टेन टू ट्वेंटी आनीम आर् देर ओके लेटस्ट टेक् द कौज सपोज इफ यु आर् मेटेनिंग जेर्सी और एच एफ ओके हॉलसन फ्रीस एंड ब्रीड इफ यु आर् मेटेनिंग लेटस्ट टेक् आन एंड एवरेज ट्वेंटी फाइव लीटर्स आफ मि पर् डे रईट ओके हौ मेनी कैटल आर् देर ओके दिस ओनली फॉर् युर नॉलेज पर्पस् या निम्ता निम्ब आर्थिक पर्स्थिति बू गु शुड हाव दिस नॉलेज आलो ओके सपोज इफ यु आर् हाविंग ट्वेंटी कैटल जस्ट सी दिस डोट रईड दीस थिंग्स ट्वेंटी कैटल एंड सपोज इफ ए कैटल ईज गिविंग अरउंड ट्वेंटी लीटर्स लेटस्ट टेक् लिटल बिट लेस ओनली स्वल्प कड़म तक ट्वेंटी लीटर्स आफ मि then what will be the total it will be around 400 liters it will be around 400 liters this is per day milk production per day now let us take uh, for 1 liter suppose if the price is around 50 rupees it varies depending on the fat it varies sometimes it might be 30 rupees 35 rupees 40 rupees or even it may go up to 50 rupees so on and average so let us take only 40 rupees 40 rupees liter dang new kodtiri ant ankono because uh, wholesale price is different retail price is different selling is different okay so around 40 into 40 madonu so it will be around 16000 that means uh, your per day income is 16000 per month into 30 ओके इंटू थर्टी माद ये सिक्सटी इंटू थ्री यू क्यालक्युलेट इट ओके सो जस्ट चेक वाट विल बी द अमौंट दिस पर् मंत दिस पर् मंत पर् मंत नहीं क्यालक्युलेन पर् डे इट इस सिक्सटीन थौसंड हर दिन के वन ऐसी सिक्सटी थौसन मलटिप्लाई इट दे हौ मच इट विल गो इट विल गो नियरली अप टू टेन ऐक्स ओके सो वित् लीस्ट अमौंट आव क्यालक्युलेटेड इट दैट मीन लुक एट इस पर् मंत इफ युवर इनकम ईज नियर और नियरली टेन ऐक्स अदर मैनेजिंग लक्ष रूपाय खर्च आगे नोन फुड आंड फॉडर एर एरूरे अथवा मूर् लक्ष खर्च आदक युवर इनकम विल सेवन ऐक्स मिनिमम ओके दिस ओनली फ्रम द मि दे अपार्ट फ्रम दिस यू आर् गेटिंग What the byproduct cow dung? Even cow dung is used as fertilizer, and from that also you have that income source. So totally it comes around to be around ten lakhs. When the thingle ge, ni maghat lakhs rupee adai bara kai tan tadra. Bari ipa taaklu, bari ipa taakal dinda. You are not less than a software engineer. Think of it. Adna vichar mada thoru sir. Software field bitta. इधन डेरी फार्म मैनेजमेंट साक ओके रईट सो लुक एट दिस इट इस नाट ओनली फॉर् युर नॉलेज इट इस फॉर् द लाइफ इंप्लीमेंटेशन आलो अद भाष्ट एजुकेटेड पीपल दे आर् कमिंग टू द एग्रिकलर फीलडस याक एग्रिकलर फील बरकार दे वाट टू इंप्लीमेंट दियर नॉलेज इन दियर एग्रिकलरल फील एंड दे वाट टू प्रड्यूस द क्राप्स इन सच ए वे दैट दे कैन मेक द आज अ सोर्स आफ् इनकम भाष्ट जन बट हे अदान उलमेमु ये अद हे ना तगी गोस्ट आफ अवर् फार्मर्स विल फेल ड्यू टू दीज थिंग्स ओनली मार्केटिंग नॉलेज इतना इन टाइम ना ये बेदा मार्केट रेट हाँ अंत ओके अद टमेटो बेरी उलगढ़ बेरी ऐन बेरी बट मार्केटिंग व्याल्यू इत मार्केटिंग वैल्यू मार्केटिंग वैल्यू इतना केव सर मैं प्रोडक्शन जास्त ड्राप आती है बट आज फार आज द मि इज कंसर्न इट्स नाट लाइक दैट बिकॉज आज यू नो एव्री डे वी रिक्वयर इट अदे निमलोर्स इनस्टेड आफ ट्वेंटी इफ यू मेक् इट डबल इफ यू मेक् फार्टी युवर इनकम विल ट्वेंटी ऐक्स दिस पर् मंत दिस पर् मंत इधत्मकोड़ी अरवि You will reach nearly to half crore, arda koti per month. Even you know more, madre, more than one crore. 
ಪರ್ ಮಂತ್ ಕೋಟ್ಯಾಧೀಶರು ಒಂದು ತಿಂಗಳದಾಗ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಎಕನಾಮಿಕ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈ ರೀತಿನೂ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ತಿಳುವಳಿಕೆ ಇರಬೇಕು ಈಗಿಂದ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಬೆಳೆಸ್ಕೊಂತ ಹೋಗ್ರಿ ಓಕೆ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟಿವ್ ಇರುತ್ತೂ ಬರಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟಿವ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿರಬೇಕು ಅಲ್ಲಿರಬೇಕು ಮತ್ತು ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಡೆ ಇರಬಾರ್ದು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡೇರೆ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ದ ಡೇರೆ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೆಟಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಪೋಲ್ಟ್ರಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಪೋಲ್ಟ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಸೇ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪೋಲ್ಟ್ರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಪೋಲ್ಟ್ರಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಇದು ಹೈನುಗಾರಿಕೆ ಎಂದು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಇದು ಕೋಳಿ ಸಾಕಾಣಿಕೆ ಎಂದು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಪೋಲ್ಟ್ರಿ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಇನ್ ದ ಪೋಲ್ಟ್ರಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪೋಲ್ಟ್ರಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಪೋಲ್ಟ್ರಿ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇರಿಂಗ್ ಡೊಮೆಸ್ಟಿಕೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೌಲ್ಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋಳಿ ಸಾಕಾಣಿಕೆ ಯಾವ ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೋಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇರಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೀಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಎಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೀಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ದ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಡಯಟ್ ವಿತ್ ರಿಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಎಗ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಮೀಟ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಡಯಟ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಂಟೈನ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಷನಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಷನಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ಅಮ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಮೀಟ್ ನಾವು ಹಿಯರ್ ಪೋಲ್ಟ್ರಿ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೇರಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೌಲ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಯೂಶಲಿ ಫೌಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಚಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಾಕ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಫೌಲ್ಸ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇಮೂ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಎಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟರ್ಕಿ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಎಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ಮೀಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯೂಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಫುಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ ವೆ ಆರ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಕೋಳಿಗಳು ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಕೋಳಿ ಸಾಕಾಣಿಕೆ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಗ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಮೀಟ್ ನಾವು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಯುಟಿಲಿಟಿ ದೀಸ್ ಫೌಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರೈಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಅಗೇನ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಯುಟಿಲಿಟಿ the fowls are divided into three types now this is an additional content which is not there in your ncert but you should know this to understand the concept okay but this will be asked for the neat it will not be asked for the theory so that clear bifurcation you should know it then out of this the first one is layers the second one is broilers and the third one is dual purpose breeds all these are the breeds of the
ಏನು ಬೇಕಾ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ ಮಾಡಿರಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಬರಬೇಕಷ್ಟೇ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈಟ್ ಲೆಗ್ ಹಾರ್ನ್ ವೈಟ್ ಲೆಗ್ ಹಾರ್ನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇರಿಯನ್ ಬ್ರೀಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಟಿಕ್ ಬ್ರೀಡ್ ಅಂತಲೂ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ದೆನ್ ಬ್ರಾಯ್ಲರ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಟು ಎನಿ ಚಿಕನ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಲೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರಾಯ್ಲರ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಬರೆದಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬ್ರಾಯ್ಲರ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಮೀಟ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀಟ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಲೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಲೇ ದ ಎಗ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರಾಯ್ಲರ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂಯಲ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಪರ್ಪಸಸ್ ಓಕೆ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ದ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಮಾತ್ ರಾಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂಯಲ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಫಾರ್ egg laying and meat purpose so they are, they can be used in both the forms egg laying as well as meat purpose so example for this road island red road island red so all these are various different types of fowls birds that are used as layers broilers as well as a dual purpose breeds okay now with this let us look at the indigenous fowl breeds as well as the exotic fowl breeds now as we have came across these terms with respect to the cattle the same thing we are using here indigenous breeds as well as exotic breeds okay now can you define what is indigenous breed this it is a same definition indi genus or the term indica wherever we use that is a breed of india so indigenous breeds fowl breeds so indigenous breeds means these are the breeds of our country these are the breeds of india these are local breeds these are desi breeds okay nam deshudu that's why we call them as desi breeds then what are these hangidri we have so here we have asil asil it is nothing but it's a name of the fowl breed then gagas basra chitagong then brahma vishnu maheshwara illile okay brahma ondada next kadaknath ಬದ್ರಿನಾಥ್ ಕೇದಾರನಾಥ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಚ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರೀಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಗಿರಿರಾಜ್ ರಾಮರಾಜ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಚ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಜಿನಸ್ ಬ್ರೀಡ್ಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಬ್ರೀಡ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಮನ್ಲಿ ಡೊಮೆಸ್ಟಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಇದರೊಳಗಡೆ ಗಿರಿರಾಜ್ ಜಾವಾರಿ ಕೋಳಿ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ರೆಡಿಶ್ ಬ್ರೌನ್ ಕಲರ್ ಇರುವಂಥದ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಗಿರಿರಾಜ್ right so asil gagas basra chitagong brahma kadaknath giriraj all these are various different types of indigenous breeds indian breeds okay that can be used as layers as well as broilers then exotic breeds exotic breeds are those which are brought from other countries for what purpose for the production of egg as well as meat now 
when we call these animals as layers their egg laying capacity should be more than 250 to 300 yes more than 250 or 300 per year one worship one koli yernura yuatri in the moron motte de beku avaga it is called as a good layer broiler broiler when they are meant for the meat purpose then their weight should be more outra weight jasi rebekakta yes and their weight should be in between 1.5 to 2 kg. One over in the yard kg. Okay, so yard kg the stith and other it's called as a good broiler. Other Kalagir Bardo, one kg in the Kalagari Bardo, one batu gramma into gramma gir Bardo. Okay, a cantara two kayest hechir that the rate asta hechakta. Okay, same thing here. Then exotic breeds. Yes. Exotic breeds are from other countries, so whatever we have taken here, the same thing. So let us take them. White Leghorn, it is the breed of Mediterranean. It is a Mediterranean breed. Which one? White Leghorn. Then apart from that, Rhode Island Red. It's a breed of America. So it is an American breed. Then Plymouth Rock. It's a breed of United States of America, USA breed. Then New Hampshire. This is a breed of again same United States of America where it is a breed of a New Hampshire city in USA. Okay, So this is regarding the exotic breeds which are brought from other countries mainly for the purpose of egg as well as meat purpose. All right. So with this even egg can be used as the food, meat is also used as a food where the protein content is very rich in egg as well as the meat. As a result, if the person who is suffering with a protein deficiency, they can have such type of food, right? With this, the last part is remaining regarding the poultry farm management. So, that we will discuss in the next session. Thank you.